In just a few hours, Texas voters are going to be going to the polls. That might include you on the ballot for all voters. We've got eight amendments to the Texas Constitution. Two of the proposals were born out of pandemic-related issues. Aaron Jones now takes a good look at what you'll be deciding on when you step into the voting booth. At the start of the pandemic, you and I saw churches limiting services to virtual worship. These in-person gatherings simply weren't happening. But now Proposition 3 could stop that from ever happening again in Texas. Chair now calls uh, Jeremy Dice. During the most recent legislative session, attorney Jeremy Dice with First Liberty Institute testified about the effect the pandemic had on places of worship he represents. State and local officials from around the country really impeded upon the rights of houses of worship throughout the country to be able to do their mission during a time of the pandemic that it was critical. He says here in North Texas. Since we had churches that couldn't even hand out food to those who were hungry during the pandemic because the local officials said that that might cause a problem. Now, if approved, Prop 3 would stop state or local governments from prohibiting or limiting religious services, even during a public health emergency. You know, I would say it'd have a lot of concerns about something that just uh, without any exceptions or, uh, you know, prohibits uh, some restrictions uh, in some of these settings. Dallas County Health Director Philip Huang says when it comes to the pandemic, there's no telling what the future holds and warns places of worship can be super spreader events. And it certainly may be necessary to make some limitations to prevent uh, the spread of a a communicable disease. Also on the ballot is Proposition 6. If approved, it will allow nursing homes to designate one person who cannot be denied an in-person visit to their loved one again, even during a public health emergency. Like that person that could be designated could be carrying a communicable disease and contagious. Uh, so again, I, I, I think it's very concerning. And supporters say this type of isolation could take a devastating toll on someone's mental and physical health, something no person should have to experience. In Richardson, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.